G'day, g'day. I'm at the Gosford Regional Gallery, and today I want to have a look at an exhibition called the 2020 Exhibition. So let's go check it out in the Gosford Regional Gallery and see what the uh, artwork looks like. And it's um, all local artists. I don't know fully about the exhibition, understand the, the concept of this exhibition, but um, I heard that there's, uh, it's 2020, I think 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Um, all local artists um, put together an exhibition. So let's go check out. Oh, that looks nice in the Harbour Bridge. They sold that one. This one looks good in the Kookaburra. Oh, I like the um, Kerryong or uh, Magpie. So yeah, I'll say it's a um, 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre. That's a mixed media of a poppy. This looks like Sakura. This one looks Aboriginal. This one here. Oh, this one looks nice. It's like a car window. This one's like a geisha. Looks nice. Oh, this one here must be a photo. A photo that they've put. That looks really great. Oh, I love that one. That's really great. Look how detailed that is. Beautiful. A real Aussie type of kangaroo and a hut. This one here is nice. It's um, like a school of fish. Oh, that one's really great. Like a 1960s house. That's beautiful. Oh, this one's beautiful. Look at that. Boy about to jump in the water. Beautiful. This one's really beautiful, Sydney Harbour. Mm. Oh, I like that one there. That's really nice. This one here is beautiful. Palm trees. Oh, this one's from um, Observatory Hill in Sydney because you've got the Harbour Bridge there. That's beautiful. That's really nice too, rainy day. This one here, someone done a, a, a geisha near Mount Fuji. Oh, that's great as well. Beautiful. The Opera House, that's really nice. And a Waratah. Yeah, really good. So yeah, the exhibition was a 2020 art exhibition and all the paintings were they were selling them for $80 each. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good community event. And um yeah, I liked the artwork. It was very inspiring and good to come and have a look at the 2020 exhibition. So yeah, um Hopefully the weather's going to come good. I'm going to go find a spot to paint now, so let's go paint.
Well, actually, it's the next morning. It started to get a bit grey there yesterday, so, um, yeah, it's the next morning and I'm at Pearl Beach. Haven't been here for a while and painted at Snapper Point, which is around the corner over here. I've done a handful of paintings before. So, um, yeah, we'll get around there and um, find something to paint on this perler of a day at Pearl Beach. Well, this is looking nice, high tide actually, but uh, yeah, looking good, beautiful. I've painted here before, I've done a sunrise once, uh, that's on YouTube, uh, it's in there somewhere, I've got about 180 paint, uh, YouTube videos, so um, I'm not far exactly back, maybe a year ago or so it was, but uh, it turned out okay. Morning, how you going? Oh, how am I going to get across? <laughs> Give me a minute. I found the washing machine right here. Look at that. I reckon uh, if you fell in there or you hopped in there for a swim, uh, probably be lucky to survive, I think. Unless you know what you're doing. I certainly wouldn't know what I was doing. 20 years ago, I used to watch an artist on, um, well, it wasn't YouTube back then. It was a, a video of an artist called E.J. Robinson. You might have heard of him. He's a, a, I think it was a California artist. He was really good at seascapes, um, coastal seascapes at California and those areas. And I was really inspired by his paintings, his coastal seascapes, and it was really great. And um, I learned a lot from, from him back then. So um, yeah, this one's for him. So uh, I'm doing this scene here. I'm not gonna put the um, I'm just going to put the edge of the, that island in, lion island. I'm just going to have it coming around, back around here, going off. So it's going to be like an S shape, going down, wave breaking, um, around the corner there, and then S off into the distance. So the key for this painting is atmosphere. I want to get atmosphere and um, composition. I, I put the composition in. That's important, as you can see here. So yeah, composition atmosphere and color that's important so let's get into this one
Okay, what I've done here is I'm painting this part here now, the distance. If I paint that distance exactly how it is, if the painting turns out, it might look a bit like a photo. I don't want that. I want to create something a little bit different. So with the distance, I will paint it a tiny bit over and then go warmer and darker as I come back. You can see here I've mixed uh, ultramarine blue with a little bit of the sky, which is cobalt blue and white, and added ultramarine blue and a little bit of um, crimson or alizarin crimson to that. And I've come up with a mix like that. Then I've added a little bit more ultramarine blue and burnt sienna to come up with a mid-tone, which will be just past the island, that other, the other side there. So let's see how that turns out. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the watercolour in. When you look at the watercolour, you can see the reflection of the sky. I would go, uh, colour-wise, I would use a cobalt blue, titanium white, burnt sienna, tiny bit of sapphire, and uh, tweak it a little bit with a little bit of yellow ochre, and maybe a little bit of burnt sienna, and a lizard. and to make it darker a little bit cobalt blue it's a lot it's about five five colors or so but if you can get that watercolor right that's what will make a painting like this you've got to really get your colors spot on Yeah, and a little bit more in Siena. Yellow ochre.
bit hot. I just had a mouthful of water. Feel like I'm in the desert. Nah, it's beautiful. Actually, for those who live inland and can't enjoy the coast, this is for you. Okay, so I'll show you where I'm at. So I'm up to, now I'm gonna, actually I'll get the darkest dark in of the rocks and then I'll work on this area here, which will be the focal point. Okay, so I've done the rocks. Now what I've got to do is get the wave done. Okay, we're getting there. Continue on here and we'll wrap it up.
okay, I've done the painting. I'll tell you why I need a beer after this one. There she is. Tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for coming. Catch you in the next one. See ya.